down a little bit. Yes. We're going to change it. Look at that. Hi, I'm Peter from Silver Archery, and today we're going to look at the Tolkien Piker. This is how uh, we've looked at the Tolkien Troll before. This is the uh, longbow, flatbow, reflex, deflex, flatbow version with the bow bolt system. You can check. Um, no, oh, let's go the right way up. You can check. Check. Tolkien bows out out at um, Montana. Archeryblogspot.com. Is it that way or that way? I think it's this way. I think it's like that. Look at that. And oh, you can just see what a beautiful join that is. That really is. Yeah, can't get any more than that. Uh, lovely phenolic tips. All black, satin black MacArthur. Thumb grip, thumb, thumb rest there. No, and this is a uh, 42 at 28. There. There it is. Oh look, 42 pounds. It's very rare we actually get them to line up. That's quite, quite good. Let's go for the other PLC. Three seventy. Point nine, eight, yes, nine, it's going between the two, there you go. We ran it up to 371 grain shell. Right. <sighs> One seven three, that's not bad. 42 pound boat. This is the uh, Bear Paw Eco Shafts. Full length and four hundred nineteen point five. Hundred and sixty eight, that's pretty good. I think that's faster than the troll. We might have to do a little um revisit on the troll. Right. The bamboo self knocked arrows. If I can find a balance point. And they are 431.7. Yeah, I think that's good. I really like these arrows, even though you can't buy them. <laughs> the Victory HVs. I can't even remember what they've replaced them with, actually. But there you go. Check out Silver Archer, I'm sure they'll tell you. And that is 376. It's not focusing. Yes, it is 376.45. Uh, it's a full length arrow, 400 spine. Uh, I think 125 grand piles. Hundred and eighty four feet per second. It's a four hundred spine shaft there. That is pretty amazing. And really quiet. No hand shot. Nothing. This is just totally dead in the hand. Ah, right. Um Home Express Heritage, 75s. Yes. Focus, focus. Three six seven. Yes, three six seven. This is a twenty-eight inch arrow. Uh, five inch helically fletched. So basically a great big parachute on the end of an arrow. Uh, I need to pull it all the way back. Hmm. That was just a little bit short, but still 177 feet per second with three inch, sorry, three five inch helically fletched fletchings. Right, oh, sorry, before we go away, this is a, um, this is the V4 600, yep, 348.9, so again, uh, minimum weight for these bows is 8 grains per pound, so well in excess of that. Good. 
Then it was about half an inch short, but still 181 feet per second. This is a fast bow, and you, you, I say you can hear it. You can't hear it. That's how good it is. Right, and um, keep meaning to try this. This is the uh, most probably the only one outside the States. We're expecting delivery of these very, very soon. Um, this is the uh, Victory Traditional carbon shaft and it's uh, wrapped in linen um, give you a lovely wood grain effect so every single one's different but it's also the quietest arrow they've ever made um, so if you're a traditional shooter you, you really want to think about it so even though it's so this is, I can't think it's a 350 spine yeah um, well, I just want to chuck, chuck it out um, and just see what speeds we can achieve with this rather heavy arrow the full length shaft. That's it, got it. 561.6. Seven. <laughs> it's 561. There we go. Oh, yes. That came out. What? It's 148. That's a really heavy arrow. The wrong spine. <laughs> and it still punches it out 148 feet per second. It really is a, a stunning, stunning bow. It's so nice to shoot. Smooth. There is no such thing as shot. You do not feel a thing. Um, totally dead in the hand. Uh, beautiful finish. Same with the Tulky Troll. Beautiful finish with the Piker. I have to say that really is a, a reflex, deflex, uh, take down longbow. Um, you want to check them out. Right. I mean, this. Yeah, see, look that. It's That's just, it's shot. such a, such a sweet bow. It, it really is so, so smooth to shoot. Well, it really wants to do about there. Yes, they just last. There we go. I'm going to attempt to go to the ear, which will be 28 inches, which is a bit about there. That. There is no hand shot. Super quiet. This is such a stunning bow. As I've all said it before, that the workmanship is, you've only got to look at it under the close ups, they're a second to none, but to the ear. It just is. A I cannot sing their praises enough. There we go, and to the ear again. Yeah, a bit of a snapshot, but still. Five yards. You're that close, you can't hear anything. There is such a super, super sweet bow. Tolkien Piker. So here we are, we were shooting the 3Ds. Um, we did shoot the, the, the Piker earlier on in the year. We lost the light. Uh, so again, it's late, so I must, don't want to stay here too long, I was going to lose the light again. But the sunlight's dappling through, and, um, and I'm, I'm going to attempt to hit, uh, using this three fingers under malarkey, um, a hit. Just over the top. Yes, you can see it kick out knocking points out for, for me with these arrows. This is a, a, a Volker Pharrell um, pine shot. Oh, quiet, everything, just dead straight flat. That's what I love about these Montana bows. Tolkien bows, they really are. Let's try a, this is a 400 spine bamboo arrow. But we'll see how it flies anyway. Yeah, it didn't like it, but it went in there. Very forgiving bow. Mm. Let's try a 500 spine bamboo circle on carrier. 300. Ooh, just skimmed off the back. Flicked a little bit, so nothing went with that. Look oh, just under the base. I almost have full draw there as well. Get these 50 55 to come in out dead flat, no waggle. This is a 
42 pound bone. And I don't think I'm coming up to full draw. Well, I'm not, because I'm coming up to about 26. And we'll attempt it. Look at that. It's a pro shot. That's there. Let's try that. Oh, the sunlight's on there now. Look at that. Again, knocking points out for me, how I'm shooting with the arrows I'm shooting. Um, but you can see it's dead straight. Yeah. Oh! See, there's no shot anything, it just sits in the hand. Um, super smooth. Right, these. The reflex deflex short longbows, um, they do favour the, 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 the three under. And they do work. The thumb, oh, thumb stop, everything about this bow. Exudes quality. There's in comparison. Uh, we've been taking around the course, but uh, just so you can compare the two, two bow bolts. One the you know, Tolki Troll recurve, and the Tolki Piker um, reflex deflex longbow. how smooth that um, two-piece joint really is. You get an idea, back to back, of how beautiful these bows are and how beautiful, now this one was to the um, split finger from memory. Um, so again. Oh. Ones, um, let's say we've done a video on this, and we know what a beautiful bow it is or how beautifully it shoots. Um, just been around the Piker, shoots beautifully. Um, Super, super smooth, and uh, we, we did the um, testing in the shop. We know how fast it is. They are both fast boats. You just see how smooth that 28 inch drawer is. And I said, it's almost, it's almost to me, it feels like a, they're basically saying it feels like it's a slightly medium high grip, whereas that's a sort of a, a medium grip. I definitely go with that's a medium grip. Um, but yeah, this. Silky, silky smooth, really are. Uh, I'm, I'm always amazed at how how beautiful the um, the troll um, pulls back. But this, uh, this the Piker really, is, it's so elegant. That's what I like about the Piker. Um, you just see the the limbs; they're, they're perfect harmony. They really have got. You know, it just pulls. As I, as I keep saying about this bow, how beautifully it's finished, um, you can just about see it there. You cannot feel that seam at all. It really feels and shoots like a one-piece bow. And that's what the bow bolt system was designed for, and that's what it works at superbly. It really does. You, you, you honestly think, once you're in this position, once you've gone caught or turn, strung it, it's a one-piece bow. It really is. Um, this is just for convenience that you can take it apart and pack it up into a smaller package if, you, if you're traveling. But uh, yes, you can physically see the scene, but you really cannot feel it. No matter how hot, no, it just feels like a one piece bow. Feels like a solid Makata one piece bow. Um, and again, these, these, because they're so short, these really are designed. Stinging that was there. Hang on, I'll attempt to come to full draw. I'm not going to show you, I'm just going to come to full draw so you can see what it's like from a ground blind at 28 inches, which is there. So you've so much, you've got so much clearance. It's just super, super smooth. Tolki Biker. Check them out in Montana Boats. It's a blog spot. If you Google it, you'll get it.